This is part 4 of jQuery tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss what are jQuery selectors, different selectors in jQuery, and the ID selector in detail. So what are jQuery selectors? One of the most important concepts in jQuery is selectors. jQuery selectors allow you to select and manipulate HTML elements. Here, we have the list of different selectors in jQuery. jQuery selectors allow you to select HTML elements in the DOM by element ID, element tag name, element class name, element attribute, element attribute values, and many more. In our upcoming videos, we'll discuss these different selectors one by one in detail. In this video, let's find elements by ID using the jQuery ID selector. So let's look at an example now. On this page, we have an HTML button with ID button1. And the script right here, especially the piece of code that's highlighted. So this is equivalent to saying document dot get element by ID button one. So hash symbol within jQuery is the ID selector. Okay, so this piece of code is going to return the button with ID button one, and then we are attaching the click event handler to that button that is returned. And within the click event handler, we are alerting a message, jQuery tutorial. So when we save this and when we click this button, we should get an alert saying jQuery tutorial. So basically within this example, we are finding the button using the ID selector and attaching the click event handler. You can also manipulate the you know attributes of this button if you want to. For example, you can change the background color of this button using a jQuery method. CSS. And if you look at this method, it has got two parameters, name and value. Name is the name of the CSS property that you want to change, and value is the value that you want to assign to that CSS property. So I want to change background color. And I want to change the background color to yellow. So let's save these changes, reload the page. And look at that, the button gets uh, its background color changed. So jQuery ID selector uses the JavaScript document.getElementById function behind the scenes. jQuery ID selector is the most efficient among all jQuery selectors. If you know the ID of an element that you want to find, then always use the ID selector over any other selector. Because when we use ID selector, um, you know, it doesn't have to scan the entire DOM, you know, because it's optimized to find elements by ID. HTML element IDs must be unique on the page. jQuery ID selector returns only the first element if you have two or more elements with the same ID. So let's understand this with an example. At the moment on this HTML page, we only have one button with ID button one. Now let's make a copy of this. So now we have two buttons with the same ID. So what is this going to do? This piece of code that's highlighted, is it going to return both the button controls or one? it's going to return only the first button control. Okay, now basically the selectors, not just the ID selector, but all the selectors are going to return a collection. And since ID selector is going to return just one element, the collection will contain only one element. Okay, so now when we save these changes and when we reload this page, only the background color of the first button control should be changed because ID selector returns the first matching element. Now, having more than one HTML element with the same ID on the HTML document is illegal, okay? But let's assume, you know, we have two elements with the same ID. In that case, the ID selector is going to return only the first matching element. JavaScript's document.getElementById function throws an error if the element with the given ID is not found, whereas jQuery ID selector will not throw an error. To check if an element is returned by the ID selector, use length property. Now, if we use, let's comment this line. So if we use document.getElementById, and then let's say I specify the ID as button2. 
and then let's say we want to change the background color so to change the background color using raw JavaScript we use the style property and then background color and let's set that to yellow now do we have a button with ID button 2 on this page no we don't so when we actually save this and reload this page and when we go to developer tools by pressing F12 we should have a script error there so it says cannot read property uh, style of null so basically this code is returning an error because it cannot find element with ID button 2 but whereas the ID selector in jQuery let's comment this now and uncomment this so this is the ID selector now if the ID selector in jQuery does not find an element with that ID it doesn't throw an error instead it's going to return an empty collection so to find out if the given jQuery selector is return, um, returning an item or not use the length property of the collection that is returned by jQuery so we know that this is going to return a collection so I want to know the length of it so if length is greater than zero then we know that the element is found so in that case let's alert that message alert element found else element not found so let's save these changes now we have button one on this page and look at this first of all notice we don't get the script error and it says element found on the other hand if I put like button 2 which does not exist we shouldn't get the script error notice that no script error and it says element not found because the length will be 0 JavaScript's document.getElementById and jQuery ID selector are not the same. Document.getElementById returns a raw DOM object, whereas jQuery ID selector returns a jQuery object that wraps the DOM object and provides jQuery methods. This is the reason you are able to call jQuery methods like CSS, click on the object returned by jQuery. To get the underlying DOM object from a jQuery object, index that with the index position so let's understand this statement so basically to find an element by ID using raw JavaScript we use document dot get element by ID and to do that in jQuery style we use the ID selector so document dot get element by ID is that equivalent to I mean is that the same as dollar you know ID selector not really because document dot get element by ID this is going to return a raw JavaScript object a raw DOM object whereas the ID selector in jQuery what is this going to do is wrap that DOM object inside a jQuery object and then it's going to return that jQuery object so since we get a jQuery object back that is the reason we are able to use you know properties uh, methods like CSS um, etc these methods are not available on the raw DOM object that is returned by document dot get element by ID okay so jQuery creates a wrapper around the raw DOM object that is returned by you know document dot get element by ID and then that's the reason we are able to use jQuery specific objects on the object that is returned by jQuery and if you want the raw DOM object to be returned then you know we know that this is going to return a collection with one object within it and if I want to get the raw DOM object I can index that with the index position because this collection is going to contain just one element I'm going to index that with zero and then when we let's alert this so look at that it basically says undefined let's see why is that because we don't have an element with ID button 2 so let's pass button 1 as the ID reload this page we should get HTML input element and that's the raw DOM object 
document.get element by ID is faster than jQuery ID selector. Use document.get element by ID over jQuery ID selector unless you need the extra functionality provided by the jQuery object. Now let's say for example I want to change the background color. I could very easily do that using document.get element by ID and using the style and background color properties. Now if you want to use some extra additional functionality provided by jQuery, for example, you want to attach a click event handler and you want to do that in a cross browser way with the least amount of code, then jQuery is the better option there. Okay, but then if you want to do something like this really simple where you don't want to use the power of jQuery, then probably using document.getElementById is better because this is slightly faster than using the jQuery um, ID selector. That's it for today. Thank you for listening and have a great day.